What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released iOS 11.2.5 Beta 2 on a Tuesday, just one week after dropping Beta 1 and that same time last week we also got the public version of 11.2.1. So of course in this video we're going to be talking about what's new if anything and whether or not you should update. And once again if you're still wondering what happened to iOS 11.2.2, 11.2.3 and 11.2.4, go back and watch my Beta 1 video from last week where I explained my thoughts on why Apple did this. Alright so anyways let's go ahead and take a look at this update here. So you can see that it came in at 101.9 megabytes here on my iPhone 8 Plus, which of course did come from 11.2.5 beta 1. So let's go ahead and check out the build number here for this version. You can see it's 15D5046B. So once again, a long build number with a small letter at the very end, which does usually indicate that we will still have at least one more beta for this version. This is not the GM build. So we can expect at least one more beta release for 11.2.5 before the final release. Going back to the home screen, let's talk about the changes here in 11.2.5 beta 2 and really there's nothing changed I did not notice anything changed no outward facing features uh, or, or you know UI enhancements or anything here with this beta release I'd assume it's just all bug fixes and security enhancements which is kind of expected you know with uh, such a small point release like this in a beta 2 so really nothing outward facing that you're going to notice as far as performance goes the performance on 11.2.5 beta 2 is pretty much the same as beta 1 I haven't really noticed any hiccups it's all pretty smooth and you know battery life is pretty much the same deal you know it's really too early to tell with beta 2 right now but I'd assume it's pretty much the same as beta 1 which battery life on beta 1 I will say was great I had pretty much put it right there with 11.2.1 the final release both the battery life on 11.2.1 and 11.2.5 are tremendous really good battery life on both on both my iPhone 8 plus my iPhone 8 and also my iPhone 7 plus so I'd assume that this changes nothing with performance or battery again it's probably just all bug fixes on the back end things that we did not even notice now should you update to 11.2.5 beta 2 and I'd say if you're looking for a jailbreak definitely not you should still stay on 11.1.2 or below or if you're on iOS 10 stay on iOS 10 right now if you're wanting a jailbreak I will have a jailbreak update video coming out later today and that's going to clear up a lot of things regarding the jailbreak as well so stay tuned for that but of course if you don't care about a jailbreak definitely go ahead and update and play around with it and see if you find anything new and if you do find anything new like I have not been able to find definitely let me know down in the comments section down below and once again we still have no iMessage and iCloud unfortunately that's the first thing I check now every time it looks like we may never get that unfortunately so that's pretty unfortunate but we will see if it comes maybe in 11.2 or iOS 12 I should say uh, in the future so we'll see about that but anyways guys that's it for 11.2.5 beta 2 again nothing much changed at all but I want to keep you guys as updated as possible with everything Apple releases no matter how significant the update is but anyways guys if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that jailbreak update video coming out later today also some live streams coming this weekend as well so thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon